In Durban, South Africa, the Conference on Climate Change has just ended. Against the stormy backdrop of global financial crisis, it is difficult to get a clear picture of the actual progress made. There were no major engagements taken by Washington or Beijing, although the European Commission President, José Manuel Barroso, pledged financial support and aid from Brussels for the world's poorest nations. One example is the agreement signed between the European Investment Bank and South Africa for investment in renewable energy in the country. The European Investment Bank got it. They, they understood that it wasn't just about funding windmills, it was about building an architecture of different partners uh, that embraced policy issues as well as project level issues uh, and that built a process of leadership and supported a process of leadership within South Africa. Clean energy is the future and we see it as our, a part of our mission to help our African partners uh, to undertake all these investments that are very much essential in order to bring up the energy capacity of the African continent but in a way that is sustainable for the future. With its mobilization of funds and sharing of know-how, the South African initiative is raising hopes of seeing new industries established and new jobs created. The measures should help boost growth in the rainbow nation while respecting promises made at Cancun in 2010 to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We in Africa have the opportunity to introduce green energy um, in places where there actually is no energy at all. With sun, water, wind, geothermal and biomass as sources of energy, the continent is in an inviolable position to develop environmentally friendly sources of energy. Several other African countries, such as Mauritius with its sustainable island concept and Morocco with its wind farms, are now investing in clean energy.